Hello and welcome to Alchemy 101. I'm Professor Violet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to farm for spider eggs. Spider egg is used in several different potions and poisons. It's also a great reagent to use if you want to power level your alchemy because it's very easy to farm. It's occasionally found by killing spiders like the small passive ones, the giant not so passive ones, the spider kith, and even spider daedra. If you search online where to farm spider eggs in ESO, you'll get a lot of different answers. But I, and a lot of others, mainly farm for it in one place, and that is in a ruin in Bankarai called Nalada Ruins. This is the closest way shrine to the ruins, and it's fittingly called Nalada Ruins Way Shrine. Unfortunately, if you've never been to Bankarai, none of the way shrines are unlocked, so the only way there is to ask a friend, a guildmate, or ask in zone chat for a taxi to the Nalada Ruins Way Shrine, or any way shrine in Bankarai. If no one can taxi you there, then you have to go the long way which is traveling on foot or mount from Daggerfall in Glenumbra. And that, my friends, is a very long trip because you have to journey through not only Glenumbra, but also through Stormhaven, and those are two very big maps with quite a few baddies that you may have to fight through if you're on foot or get pulled off of your mount. But don't worry too much about them. Enemy difficulty is scaled to your level. However, there is one other way to get to Bankarai. But this method may not always work, and you'll see why when I show it to you. If you are in one or more guilds, then open your guild menu by pressing G on your keyboard if you play on PC. I apologize to those of you who play on console. I don't know how you do it on Xbox or PlayStation because I'm strictly a PC player. Once you have the guild menu open, click on the roster icon to get a list of guildmates who are on and offline. Then, all you need to do is scan the people online and see where they are. If you see anyone in Bankarai, then right click on their name and choose Travel to Player and you'll teleport to the nearest way shrine to their location. If no one is in Bankarai, then see if anyone is in Stormhaven in Glenumbra. Oh, and don't worry, traveling to a player doesn't alert them that you did that. I do it all the time and I've never been called out for it. If you have to start out in Glenumbra, you'll travel to the Daggerfall way shrine which is unlocked for everyone. Before you leave Daggerfall, make sure to visit the Rosy Lion Inn and pick up your free apartment. It's right behind the way shrine. From Daggerfall, you'll make your way to the northeast corner of the map to get to Stormhaven. Don't forget to grab all the way shrines along the way for future use. Once in Stormhaven, you'll cross the entire map west to the bridge that crosses the bay into Bankarai. Again, make sure to grab all the way shrines along the way. And I also recommend grabbing the way shrine in Wayrest because it's a great location for guild traders. Once you cross the bridge into Bankarai, you'll ride straight into the city of Evermore. You'll make your way towards the Eastern Evermore Way Shrine, which unlocks automatically once you cross the bridge into Bankarai. Over here, Initiate. Once out of the city gates, you'll make a right turn onto the road right in front of the Eastern Evermore Way Shrine and follow that road to Martyr's Crossing. Once you get to Martyr's Crossing, you'll ride through it and make your way to the Bankarai Pass Way Shrine. Once you get to the Bankarai Pass Way Shrine, you'll follow the road straight into the Fallen Grotto. When you get near the lake in the Fallen Grotto, Watch out for the bears because they will attack you if you aggro them. Make your way across the shallow lake to the waterfall. If you're on a mount, hop off the mount and jump on the rocks where the two spiders are. They will attack, so kill and loot them. You might get an egg or two.
Now, carefully make your way to the edge and jump down to the rock below. You want to stay on the rocks and make your way to the sky shard right here to absorb it. We're going to continue our way on the rocks because if you jump down too soon, you might land on the world boss below and you definitely don't want to tangle with him. Unless, of course, you want to. You'll make your way across the water to the Nalata Ruins Way Shrine and pro tip, watch out for the crocodiles when you're crossing the water. And finally, from the Way Shrine, you make your way to the entrance of Nalata Ruins. As you can see, the spiders glow in red. That means they'll attack you. What you want to do is get the spiders to group up by grabbing as many as you can. Something like this. I'm not very good at it, but I do my best. If you have a hard time grouping them up, just kill the spiders as you run around the ruins, but try to group them up because you get more XP that way. Just be careful because they can drain your health pretty fast if you're not cognizant of it. Nalata Ruins is a public location and a popular place for players to farm for spider eggs and a great place to level. Also, there's a dell right next door, so a lot of players will come and go. If you see others farming or leveling, don't be shy to join in with them because they can help group up a lot of spiders, which will help you. If a group has cleared out an area, no need to get salty. Just move on to the next spot filled with spiders and continue your farming. If you do this for a few hours, you should get plenty of eggs to sell or use for power leveling your alchemy. Now farming can get quite repetitive or boring. So what I do is I put on a good movie or watch YouTube or stream and that makes me lose track of time while I'm doing this.
I think this is all I have to say about farming spider eggs. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comments section below, or feel free to look me up in-game and either send it to me by mail if I'm offline, or whisper to me if I'm online. I hope you will join me in my next class. Until then, be safe, be well, and take care. Happy farming! Bye!